At present, Deadpool's regeneration and healing powers are the most prominently displayed superpowers on film to date. <laughs> not counting Wolverine Origins, because who does really? The first Deadpool movie chose not to bog down audiences with complicated power and origin backstories. We're here to set the record straight about Deadpool. He's one of the most versatile and powerful superheroes thanks to a wide range of often overlooked abilities star in your own horror film. Remember to get your subscribing on to CBR before you watch. It's like getting a present in your inbox every day. Think of it like spring cleaning, only if spring was death. Death, party of none. Deadpool's superpower activation is a result of scientific experimentation by Ajax in a last ditch effort to rid himself of terminal cancer. As a result, much like Wolverine, Deadpool developed accelerated regenerative healing abilities. Wilson can heal himself out of pretty much any injury and over the years, adversaries have found it pretty much impossible to kill him. The dude just keeps coming back and back and back again. But what if we told you the reason Deadpool can't die is not because of his accelerated healing factor, but because of his semi friends with benefits its status with death. That's right, actual death, with a capital D. Oh, and did we mention that death is a lady? That's important. Long before death and Deadpool were getting their flirt on, death was cozying up to Thanos. Those two had a real thing going on. That is, until death met Wade Wilson. Death made it clear the two would never do anything, not even kiss, until Deadpool died. At that point, even though Deadpool can regenerate himself out of almost any injury, he still had a few vulnerabilities. He could die. You, I'm living to 102, and then die. That potential was enough for Thanos to act. Thanos, jealous and angry, did the one thing that could stop Death and Deadpool from ever having a relationship. He makes Deadpool immortal. Good luck trying to get with Death now that you're going to live forever. Regardless of his healing factor, even if that somehow got taken away, Deadpool would not die. Like in the comics, when Deadpool was decapitated, he grew a new head and kept going. Chris high five. Okay. Merry Christmas. Transportation device. One of the most challenging aspects of being a superhero is getting from place to place. Sure, if you're Iron Man, you can fly to wherever the big showdown is happening. Nightcrawler can BAMF! teleport to his next location, but what does a non-flying, non-superspeed, non-teleporting superhero do when they need to get to a fight fast? In the movie, Deadpool hires a taxi service and the affable Dopinder drives him to his destinations. They talk throughout the drive. I'm kinda lonesome back here. Deadpool offers romance advice to Dopinder about his love, Gita. It's a pleasant experience. However, this is not an efficient way to get to a fight. They could get stuck in traffic, get a flat tire, maybe even run out of gas, making Deadpool late. And the point is it's bad. In the comic books, Deadpool uses technology to aid in his transportation, including a personal teleportation device. The device is small, and he keeps it on him at all times. The need for teleportation came out of Deadpool's original villainous inclinations. When he was fighting superheroes, he needed to make quick escapes or risk getting caught by an angry hero. The teleportation device provided a swift exit and makes it difficult for Deadpool's foes to follow in pursuit. The transportation device has not been embraced by the film yet. Maybe in Deadpool 2 we'll see Wilson use a teleportation device, but then we won't get to see Dopey Tinder. To you, Mr. Poole. Number 3. Resistant to Toxins and Drugs There are many parallels that are drawn between Wolverine and Deadpool. Both were participants in the Weapon X program, though Deadpool volunteered for the experimentation because of his cancer. Thank you. Thank you. Both superheroes have accelerated healing factors. They both love their spandex costumes, and they're both Canadian. An additional similarity between them relates to their inability to be intoxicated and be drugged. Deadpool's accelerated healing is a multifaceted component of his superhero makeup that protects him on several fronts. Deadpool's metabolism is off the charts. His cells are burning calories, and that means it's burning off sugar, fats, toxins, and alcohols. Not as touched upon in the film as it is in the comics, Deadpool's super-resistant genetics means foreign substances are not absorbed by his body. While it's possible with excessively high doses for Deadpool to be affected, it's a challenge for him to be dosed as such an amount might render him incapacitated. Why do you make me make that? Poisons, tranquilizers, mind control drugs, even regular aspirin have little to no effect on Wilson. His cells are burning off the substance's side effects the moment it reaches his bloodstream. This forces his enemies to have to rely on other means to attack him. While he can feel the effects of alcohol, it would take a lot of drinking to make it happen. In the comics, Deadpool has been seen drinking booze, but it barely gets him intoxicated. Even then, when he wakes up the next day, he's fresh and ready to kick some butt. No hangovers here. Talk about a superpower. Oh, hello. I know, right? 
Deadpool sees us seeing him seeing us. Deadpool directly addressing and interacting with his audiences and fans is often a source of humor, whether that's through a television screen or in a comic book panel. Wade Wilson knows that we know he exists. While it may seem strange that a superhero has self-awareness, it's significant for Deadpool. Yes, at times, Deadpool will give a wink or knowing nod to the audience to show us that he sees something. He's making us a part of an inside joke or giving us vital information. However, this is more than a gag. Deadpool's awareness that he's in comic books and movies is a part of his superpowers. Fourth wall break inside a fourth wall break. That's like 16 walls. The characters around him, Captain America, Wolverine, Dr. Kilbrew, they have no idea that they're part of a pre-scripted storyline in a fictional universe. Deadpool can use this knowledge to his advantage, and he often does. It makes him acutely aware of the stakes involved in fighting. He can perceive the reality of a situation. Iron Man may be a genius, but he can't turn to the audience and explain the back history to get everyone up to speed. This allows him to be knowledgeable about other universe information that he would not ordinarily know because he's not a part of that plot. This makes him smarter, faster, and able to adapt better. This superpower is rare and is exhibited by few members of the Marvel comics and films, making Deadpool an asset for any team that he's on. Invulnerability to psychic attacks. When we talk about accelerated healing factor, like in the case of Wolverine, we're usually discussing it in relation to physical regeneration. Wolverine's body spits bullets back out. His wounds heal immediately. In the comics, Deadpool can be decapitated and his head grows back perfectly fine. We know that this is partially thanks to his Thanos-bestowed immortality. Deadpool's accelerated cell regeneration allows him quick recovery during fights. We're always thinking about healing in relation to the body, but those aren't the only cells being affected by Wilson's healing factor, so are his is brain cells. All cells die and regenerate, and brain cells are no different. That means Deadpool's brain cells are subject to the same healing factor as his body. What makes this healing unique is how the replenishing brain cells protect Wade Wilson. Unlike Magneto, Deadpool does not have to wear some shiny helmet to keep out the telepaths. Deadpool is nearly invulnerable to any telepathic and psychic attacks due to his healing factor. If, for example, Jean Grey were telepathically trying to cripple Deadpool in a fight, his healing factor would be able to outpace the telepathic waves of Grey. With Deadpool's ability to withstand a psychic attack, it gives him the freedom to be able to focus on the actual fighting in front of him. Besides, if a telepath could break through into Wilson's head, is that a place that you really want to be in the first place? We didn't think so. Ugh. Immune to disease. Do superheroes get sick days? We've already established that Deadpool can physically heal from any wound and cannot die courtesy of Thanos. But getting your arm chopped off and having it grow back is very different from getting the flu. Or waking up one morning with a stuffy nose and sore throat wanting to call out an X Factor that day because you don't feel well. Maybe Deadpool was out late one night, fighting Juggernaut. It was cold out, pouring rain, and he got soaked through his spandex. He's been working a lot of late nights. His body, though no cuts or bruises, is worn down. Regardless of any superpowers, every mutant has an immune system. Couldn't Deadpool get sick? The answer is no, Deadpool cannot get sick. Imagine being able to live forever and never worry about getting the sniffles. The combination of his cancer with the scientific experimentation triggered an immunity to diseases. Deadpool gets to live out his immortality without ever having to take Dayquil before suiting up. Getting to live forever is awesome, but getting to live forever and never getting another cold is winning the jackpot. Wilson's immunity to illness and diseases gives him an advantage over his opponents. Sure, Juggernaut may be difficult to stop, but he can still get sick, wake up one morning with bronchitis. Sure, he'll still be able to fight, but not as well as Deadpool. He is always going to be in peak physical condition. A stomach bug we can't promise. Those chimichangas sure can do a number on you. Do you like what you see? No. Holographic Imaging A hired mercenary, sometimes Deadpool needs to go undercover to get the job done. He is a hired gun after all. Someone's gotta pay the bills. It's easy to spot a full-grown man in red and black spandex wielding a sword rushing towards you. That is not so subtle. He also can't walk down the street with his cancer face because that's gonna scare away everyone in his path. Because of the experimentation by Ajax in the film, Deadpool's face is... Well, horrific. Boom. There's no polite way to say it. His is the face that only a mother could love, so to speak. You look like an avocado. Deadpool's disfiguration makes it difficult for him to go out into public. Gluing on a fake nose won't exactly do it. Wilson tries covering his face with a hoodie in the movie, but that isn't enough protection either. What's a mercenary to do? 
holograms. In the comic books, thanks to technology used by X-Men, Beast, and Nightcrawler, Deadpool gets his hands on a holographic imager. Although he's only able to disguise himself over his costume with the device, it does allow him the freedom to be out in public. He can get close to his mark without being detected. While the Deadpool films have yet to embrace this technology and have Wilson wandering around in his spandex, there's still a possibility of it showing up thanks to his working relationship with the X-Men. I forgot my ammo bag! Shall we turn back? No, no time. Expert Marksman The sequence on the bridge, also known as Let's Count Him Down in the Deadpool film, might seem like a cool action sequence that makes us laugh, squirm, and cheer our protagonist on. When you stop to think about it though, there's much more there than simply a fun time. The film is creating a moment that's as much about enjoyment as it is about passing on valuable information. Deadpool is showing us one of his superpowers that does not often get talked about. He's an expert marksman. He can hit his targets from awkward angles when his body's contorted or in motion. He can also use different types of weaponry, from guns to swords, with the same precision. Deadpool tells us he only has two guns on him, each with six bullets, for a total of 12 individual shots. 9, 10, 11, 12 bullets. Or bust. While this ordinarily would not be a problem, Deadpool finds himself running out of ammunition. You might be saying, but wait, bullets 10 through 8, he doesn't hit his mark on the motorcycle. This is true, but Deadpool at that point wasn't really trying. Bad Deadpool. He was frustrated and angry and shooting instead of thinking. He even berates himself multiple times. He finally finds himself with one bullet and three guys to finish off. While twisting in midair, Deadpool perfectly lines up the three remaining men, one right behind the other. With his last bullet, Deadpool cleanly shoots all three. You will die alone. If, I mean, if you could die. Ideally. Super Endurance Deadpool's accelerated healing factor is the nexus of many of his additional, lesser-known superhero abilities. Some of these powers are not as visible, but are more often the current underneath helping make things work. While these additional abilities may not be as well known, that does not mean that they're second-rate. Deadpool uses a combination of his abilities to defeat his opponents. A significant and unseen power is Deadpool's endurance. Being able to last in a marathon fight is not the type of superpower one can see with their eyes, like Wilson's regeneration or teleportation. Endurance is energy it takes Deadpool to continue to fight when other superheroes would have long ago finished due to exhaustion. At some point, Iron Man runs out of energy. Spider-Man needs to take a break. Yeah, you're done, all right? Yeah, good job. Stay I'm down. good. I'm fine. The lactic acid that builds up in muscles and cells, which is true of every human being, super or not, reduces stamina. The cell regeneration eliminates the buildup of these fatiguing toxins. Deadpool can withstand numerous attacks over extended periods of time and fight with peak performance. Deadpool can also withstand a great amount of punishment that's not just physical, but mental as well. Endurance also refers to the mental strength that helps the superhero push through during his lowest moments. Like when he's getting beat up or experimented on by Ajax. Knowing that you can heal and get back up is one thing, but having the inner strength and stamina to do so is another. I did not tell him to do that! Multiple Deadpool personalities. Who is the real Wade Wilson? Will we ever truly know? While we do see Wilson speak out loud to himself at times during the film, they never outright explore the possibility that there are more than one Deadpool personalities. In the comic books, however, there are multiple personalities that Wilson refers to as Deadpools. There is no official count on how many Deadpools are living inside Wilson's mind. This aspect of Deadpool's superpowers is is considered both a strength and a weakness. Combined with his immunity against telepathic attacks, Deadpool is fully protected on all fronts from mental assaults or hijacking. If Professor X goes looking for Deadpool and ends up with one of the other consciousnesses, it could end badly. There are so many personalities, fractures, and instability in that cancerous head of his that it does affect Deadpool's ability to function. There's an instability and unpredictability because there's no clear trigger for the personalities coming out. He can have outbursts of anger. It can make it difficult to trust them, especially when working on a team together like X-Men or X-Force. In the comic books, the personalities are distinguished from one another, and it's clear when Deadpool is having conversations with them. Artists will draw the dialogue bubbles in assorted styles, using different fonts and colors to distinguish them from Deadpool. This superpower has a lot of potential for exploration. If Deadpool can house multiple personalities from his own fractured psyche, what other consciousnesses could he store? This is not gonna end well for you, no. Now you know more about Deadpool than you ever thought you would. You may even know more about Deadpool than you do about your own mother now. Did we leave any superpowers out? What do you think about Deadpool now? Let us know in the comments below. If you didn't subscribe at the start of this video because you were so excited to dive into Deadpool, you can subscribe now so you don't miss out. While you're at it, remember to like and share it with all your friends. Otherwise, Deadpool might come find you and, well, now you know what he can do.